We continue our study of the behavior of the visible portion of radiant energy's electromagnetic spectrum, viewing visible light as it is reflected using mirrors, refracted using lenses, and this time watching diffraction as it happens off the surface of a compact disk. Read the introductory paragraph paying particular attention to the highlighted sections. The Before You Begin section is actually two puzzles. The first asks you to use what you know about visible light, that is that it travels in straight lines, to place two flat or plain mirrors to direct a flashlight beam around an obstacle, which in this case is a book, to illuminate an index card on the far side of the book. You will have to infer based on this puzzle since you cannot actually do it in lab itself. Draw your best plan into this box. Puzzle number two requires that you use the internet to see how convex and concave lenses redirect light. You are to place one of each lens in the pathway of the beam of light coming from the flashlight so that the lens is focused onto the index card. Now turn to the data table on slide five. You will be shown three still images of the three different types of mirrors. In each of those mirrors, you can see the image of reflected objects. There are objects that are close to the mirror and far away. Describe those images in the appropriate box in the data table using the terms in bold under step one. This column is filled in as I show you the first image using the plane or flat mirror. This is the image in the plane mirror. Fill in this column as I show you the image in the concave mirror. Image in the concave mirror. Fill in this column as I show you the image with the convex mirror. Here is the image in the convex mirror. Now turn to the data table on slide six. This time I will show you images through each of the two lenses, first at near and then as the distance between the lens and the paper increases. Fill in this column as I show you the images through a concave lens. This is a concave lens, first at near, Fill in this column as I show you the images through a convex lens. This is the convex lens starting at near. As directed in step six on slide six, use your text or the internet to complete the bottom rows of both data tables. Now turn to step seven on slide seven. I will show you the four different lens and mirror setups. You should draw the light rays into the appropriate diagram as you see them. This is the first diagram you will complete. Here are the light rays for the concave mirror. And now the second diagram. Here are the light rays for the convex mirror. And now the third diagram. Here are the light rays for the concave lens. And now the fourth diagram. Here are the light rays for the convex lens. Next, fill in the diagram for step eight with what you see next. Now complete the analysis, summary, and application sections to finish this lab.